This is problem 7.25. So we have um, an amplifying circuit now. So chapter 7, right? Using uh, an NMOS here. So it's uh, an NMOS because of the arrow. So in this case, we first have uh, we have to consider the information about this circuit so it's given that the threshold voltage for this transistor is 0 0.5 volts the device transconductance is 5 milliamperes per square volts uh, VGS is 0 0.6 volts and VDD so this DC voltage here it's 1.8 volts and the drain resistance so RD is 10 Okay, so that's the information that we have for this problem. Part A asks us to find ID and VDS. So to ID, we know that ID is equals to one half the device transconductance times the overdrive voltage. That is VGS minus VT squared. So this gives us an ID that's one, one half times device transconductance 5 milliamps per volt squared times VGS that's 0 0.6 minus VT that's 0 0.4 squared so this one here gives us an ID that is 0 0.1 milliamperes just rewrite this one here 0 0.1 milliamperes Okay, for VDS, we for this particular topology, we know that VDS is equals to VDD minus the drain resistance times the drain current. Okay, so it's this voltage. So if we look at the circuit here, is basically applying Ohm's law here at this branch, right? We know VD. We know that this potential difference here is VD minus VDS. So if we isolate VDS, and that should be equals to ID times RD, right? So if we isolate VDS in that Ohm's law, we get uh, this equation here, right? So we can calculate VDS as VDD, which is 1.8 volts, minus RD, which is 10K, times 0 0.1 milliamperes and that gives us a VDS of 0 0.8 volts okay so those are divided for part A now for part B we have some equations so for, for part, part B it says find the transconductance so we know that the transconductance for this particular amplifier is two times so there are several equations to define GM we'll use like other equations in the next uh, problems but this one we know ID so it's 2 times ID divided by the overdrive voltage and this is equals to 2 times ID divided by VGS minus VT which in our case is equals to 2 times 0 0.1 milliampere divided by 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 and that's 0 0.01 ampere per volt for part C we have to find the the voltage gain AV so the voltage gain for this circuit is so AV is equals to minus the transconductance times the drain resistance right that's the, the gain that we have for this amplifier and this gives us minus 0 0.01 times those 10k ohms that we have and this one here gives us minus 10 volt per volt for part D now we have to consider the channel modulation effect so we have this one here lambda equals to 0 0.1 and we need to find out the output resistance and the new uh, voltage gain considering the channel modulation effect so in this particular problem we know that 
are out, so the output resistance is equals to the magnitude of the early voltage divided by the drain the, the drain current, right? So the those 0 0.1 that we have up there. So ID. Now we also know that the early voltage is equals to one over the channel modulation parameter. So it this gives us one over zero point one and that's actually ten volts. So our out here is ten divided by zero point one milliampere, so it's ten volts, and that's equals to a hundred K ohm. Now the gain okay considering the channel modulation effect so if we are inserting this R out in parallel with the with the with RD uh, we get that the voltage gain is minus GM okay RD in parallel with R out and this gives us AV equals to minus 0 0.01 times 10k times 100k divided by 10k plus 100k right and this gives us a gain that is minus 9.1 volt per volt now if you remember the previous AV that we calculated ignoring the channel um, modulation effect it was minus 10 volt per volt so considering the channel modulation effect we are basically decreasing the, the voltage gain for this particular amplifier 